types. Uh, it's not just heater types. Okay, I'm going to talk about heaters in a second, but it's also heater arrangement. What am I talking about? Okay, let me give you an example. Um, I had a guy who had severe lower back issues, major back pain. Okay, he used to use industrial, not industrial strength, but I'm sorry, like pain clinics. You know, you go there, they give you these crazy heating pads for your back. He said, you know what? I just need the most intense fluence. I need a beam of infrared, just, just vaporizing my back. Um, so he, he just put it right there. He just, he just sits there for two hours, a few times a week, but you know what he says? His back pain's gone. Back pain's gone. So, but again, I have somebody else who ended up getting the same one. I said, you know what, you probably don't want that based on your body ecology. She did it anyways, and, you know, she's doing this. She's doing the infrared squirm the whole time. You know, she just can't find, she can't, she can't be comfortable. All this positional intolerance happening. That's what I told her. And then she feels too heated up and overwhelmed, and she can't cool down in the middle of the night, so she can only use it in the morning. I don't want that to happen to anybody. I don't want somebody to have to return a sauna. So that's why I say fill out the quiz. Okay, fill out the quiz before you call me. Anyways, so more about heater types. And I had another frail woman who she's saying, look, I, don't, I can't lose any more calories. Um, I do not want to go into a sauna that's going to cause me to burn thousands of calories or whatever. It's not thousands, but you know what I mean. I tend to burn a ton of calories. So I said, you know what? I'm probably going to want some sort of like low wattage, you know, carbon heat or something like that. You know, she's happy. It reduces some of her pain. You know, that type of situation. Okay, but it's you also have to pay attention to where are the emitters arranged in the sauna. Okay, if you're sharing a sauna with somebody. You know, is that, does that person have the best seat in the house? You know what I mean? Is that person going to get all the good infrared exposure? Sometimes that happens. They don't angle the emitters just right, where they're shooting the infrared in a straight line instead of it going convex and, and being able to saturate everybody from front side. So this is a common thing. There's a cold spot. There's a hot spot here. Oh, I want this seat. I want this seat. Or how about I sit here for 15 minutes and then we trade. You know, you don't want to have to do any of that nonsense, okay? How about you just go in your sauna and they, they arrange all the heaters correctly the first time, okay? It's not complicated. And there's no hot spots, there's no cold spots, there's you know, none of that business. Everybody's getting equal exposure. You know, you don't want your, your kids fighting you for infrared. Um, anyways, so, and then there's the carbon panels. What generation are you getting? The ceramic panels, what generation are you getting? As again, with that guy at pain, I said, you know what? You just want an old industrial grade that's used to you know, just heat the hell out of a huge space. You know, let's go for something like that. Um, if you get a carbon panel and you feel like, you know, I like the feeling of kind of that carbon panel feeling, but I want more intensity because I'm trying to really lose, you know, a lot of, I want to really focus and be more in this area. So what I told him is, you know, you really got to focus on later generation carbons. They're smaller panels. They put more wattage in a smaller surface area. So this puts out like, four times the fluence of an older generation one, and you also have to make sure that it's lined up, you know, so you're getting a full saturation in this area, and he's happy, he's happy with however it's worked out, so it really kind of depends on what your health goal is, let me know, number one, and also let me know, you know, basically how your body ecology is doing, and I'm going to ask you a series of questions, some of those questions are my quiz, please take it, give me a call if you have any questions.